Thompson. Breaking news tonight out of Raleigh. The North Carolina House joined the Senate in overriding Governor Roy Cooper's veto of Senate Bill 20, putting a nearly 12-week abortion bill into law. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis live in the studio tonight. Morgan, regardless of which side you're on, emotions ran high in the General Assembly. Oh, it was definitely an emotional day. Earlier today, the Senate veto uh, overrode Governor Roy Cooper's veto of the abortion bill, and the House followed suit about an hour ago, meaning the bill has passed. With 72 having voted in the affirmative and 48 in the negative, the motion carries. Having passed by the requisite three-fifths vote, the House has overridden the governor's veto and the bill becomes law, notwithstanding the governor's objections. So be notified. In a purely party line vote, the North Carolina State House overrode Governor Roy Cooper's veto, officially passing tighter abortion restrictions in the state. Protesters in the chamber erupted into chants immediately following the vote as they were swiftly escorted out of the gallery. I think everyone is very emotional tonight about what's happening. The change in North Carolina law came after a day of debate in both the state Senate and House. As a physician, I took an oath. That oath is a duty. It is a duty to first do no harm, and it is a duty to protect each and every life. If this bill becomes law, Democrats lashed out at the fast-tracked bill. 42 hours elapsed. The irony of this is not lost on anyone, that this is far less than the 72 hours that this bill requires that women wait before we trust them to decide if they want to seek an abortion. The bill will ban most abortions after 12 weeks. Mecklenburg County Democrat turned Republican Trisha Cotham broke her silence, saying in part, quote, some call me a hypocrite since I voted for this bill. They presume to know my story. She goes on to say it was very important to me that this legislation protects all women going through a miscarriage or other complications, and it most certainly does. And we have Representative Cotham's full statement on QCNews.com. After an unconventional tour of the state in an effort to sway representatives to change their vote, Governor Roy Cooper released a statement calling this an assault on women's reproductive freedom. The new law is set to take effect July 1st. Alicia.